I'm here in Excel. I've got a workbook here. This is the homepage, nothing on it. You can see I've got three tabs down at the bottom. I've got one for recipes that I'm working on, ingredients that I might need. And this homepage, I would like to have this with maybe a nice picture on it and a title at the front. So what I'm gonna do is add in a background and that background you can then just type over in the cells and things. So what I'm going to do is go to page layout at the top here and you can see it's got background. Conveniently, I've got a folder called backgrounds and I've got two pictures here. One of them is smaller than the other and it actually says small there. I'm gonna choose this one, fruit plate, because it just seems appropriate if I'm doing recipes and click on insert. And there you go, it's put it in. If I scroll down and across, you see it repeats. Now, looking at it, I'm just thinking, well, actually this would be better if I didn't have things like the grid lines and the headings. So at the top here in page layout, and by the way, they're also here under the view tab, you can see it's got grid lines and headings, I can just untick them and it gives a much cleaner view. Now, what if I had used the smaller one? What does it look like? So let's just go back to page layout. If you wanna get rid of a background, you click on delete background, then I can click on it again, and I can get a different one. And this is smaller. You can see the dimensions are 250 by 164 pixels. Click insert, and you get that effect. Some people might like that and prefer it. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna put a title here, so I'm gonna to go to my insert tab at the top here. Let's go across to text box. Let's just draw something in here. And I'm gonna type in recipes. I want to make this bigger, so I'm just gonna change this font to being bigger. Let's see how big I can go here, maybe bigger again. Let's go up to 80. I don't particularly like this font. It's been defaulting to that one. Let's go for American typewriter for something different. I'm going to move this into the center here. And I want to get rid of the background around that. I might need to change the font color. So whilst it's selected over here, I've got the shape format tab. I'm going to change the shape fill to no fill. And I do need to change this. I'm going to just double click to select that. So if you double click on text, it changes it. And let's just go for say white. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that might be better and you could play around with that. You could do things with the shape such as add in shadows or reflections. You could do things like that, although it might not be that easy to see against this background. You could do other things here, like you could remove this border around the edge. If you go into here, you could choose no outline. Then when you click off of it, it disappears. Let me click on it again. You could choose a different color. Maybe it's yellow. Maybe you want it to be thicker as well. The choice is yours. But you can see that already looks a bit different. I just want to try something out here. I'm just going to go over to my recipes one where I've actually got data in it. You might be thinking, what if I want to have a background on one of these pages? Well, I think you'd have to be very careful because the background could obscure what you've got there as text. But let's just try this background here. Let's go for the bigger one. Yeah, you might just need to work on the font. You might need to choose a better picture that works well with it. But it could be nice if you're a company and you want to have the logo or something in there as well. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.